The brother is going to read after me. All of you read as well. Inshallah. 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 Inshall
I bear witness. I bear witness. There is no deity. There is no deity except Allah. Except Allah. I bear witness. And I bear witness. Muhammad. That Muhammad is the servant. Is the servant and the last prophet of Allah. And the last prophet of Allah. Once again, I declare. I declare with complete conviction. With complete conviction. I believe from my heart. I believe from my heart. Utter with my tongue. Utter with my tongue. There is no deity. There is no deity. No one worthy of worship. No one. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I declare. And I declare. Testify. Testify. The Rasul Muhammad. The Rasul Muhammad. Is the last. Is the last messenger. Messenger. Prophet. Prophet of Allah. Of Allah. There is no prophet to come. There is no prophet to come after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is the seal of all prophets. He is the seal of all prophets. There's no space for any prophet to come after Rasulullah. There's no space for any prophet to come after Rasulullah. He is the most beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He is the most beloved to Allah the Almighty. He is the most beloved to Allah the Almighty. Everybody take a seat. Mashallah. Mashallah. Mashallah, first and foremost, from the deepest depth of my heart, congratulations. I pray and hope that you stay on the straight path and you, Allah Ta'ala gives you the himmat and the ability to continue this journey now, Inshallah. It's obligatory upon you now to continue learning, Inshallah, and staying with good people around you. So, from the deepest depth of my heart, Mubarak to you and then Mubarak to all of you who witnessed this as well. It's an honor for all of us that we, you know, our brothers uh, come into the fold of Islam. Alhamdulillah. Allah Ta'ala reward him and bless him. This is that prophetic revolution, Alhamdulillah, that Geo hates me about. This is what I talk about, you know, <coughs> Mustafawi in Kilab, eh? prophetic revolution. This is what Geo hates, Alhamdulillah. Allah Ta'ala reward you and bless you. Before I ask you to say a few words, I, 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 I think it's important, um, you, no doubt your mother, your parents must have named you, but I think, you know, in such a beautiful gathering with so many brothers around you and our sisters who are present uh, in, the, in, the, in the side hall, and after consulting with yourself, inshallah, I take this opportunity of giving you an Islamic name as well. And when I think about giving you an Islamic name, it was very difficult to choose a name. You know, I looked at every every name, every shining star, and I thought to myself, which name can I choose of, so that their reflection and their, 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 their characteristics can shine within me. And then, being a Nafis Insan, I could not think of so far back. I thought, for us in this day and age and in the environment of the society we live in, we believe that the, one of the greatest fitnas are the, the Qadiyanis. And this is, you learn this, I'm not going to bombard you with too much today. But those that we spoke about yesterday that believe in another Prophet after the Prophet in whatever capacity. So Khat bin Nabufad is our fundamental belief that Rasulullah is a seal of all Prophets. Hence, after the Prophet of Allah, there's no Prophet to come. So then over time and centuries, what happens, what could happen possibly is that the faith could become fabricated. Because there's no Prophet to come. So people could change it. So then what did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa tell us? That at the head of every hundred years, Allah will send a mujaddid. Subhanallah. A mujaddid is a reviver of the faith. He's not a prophet. He's not a prophet. He's a reviver of the faith. He's an alim, a rabbani. He's a complete expert in the sciences of Islam. Therefore, he is declared as a mujaddid. A reviver. What is he? A reviver of the faith. So I thought we're in the 14th century. Islamically, we're in the 14th century. Say Subhanallah. We're in the 14th century. And the 14th century reviver, the Mujaddid of the 14th century is none other than Ahmad Raza. Say Subhanallah. Say Subhanallah. Say Subhanallah. 
your brother Ahmad Raza. Say Subhanallah. 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 Imam here, that's what that's what it is. Um, thank Imam. Excuse me for because I'm really getting accustomed to the, 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 the words and the, you know I'm not accustomed to it at all. Imam Ijaz and everybody else and Halim and the brothers from by the shop. Because it's been a long time, you know, my journey has been a long time just even you know I guess everybody knows where I'm a Rasta man or associated with that. But um, the real Rastaman is really on a journey of seeking peace and, and, and God and that kind of thing. That's why I have my dreads because that's always been my, my search in life. And I think now I, I've just come across the crossroads because I need to learn more and I need to get on the right journey. You know, because sometimes you're on the journey, you could be on you know, the wrong way or running on the parallel road or something like that. I need to be on the real road. You know, I'm 50 years now and a long time I've been searching and somehow I think definitely this, um, the Islamic, Islamic religion, because I've been in, in England for 20 years now and I've checked it out on and off, met a lot of friends and of the closest I've been to with the mosque. Very scary it was um, before I could come into the mosque, but what I felt so much love and, and, and um, the Imam. The Imam and the way he speaks and everything, it just really soothed me very much. Thanks a million for that and I am on a positive journey and thank you very much. And I just want to learn more and keep more and be strong and just continue. Just continue, honestly. Thank you very much everybody and, and um, Imam was my name again. <laughs> I think I, I was thinking what name would Iman give him. I didn't want to give him any, uh, uh, you know, but it sounds pretty, pretty good to me. Thank you very much. I know you I'm stuck for time, but. What's your name? <laughs> My name is um, Ahmed Raza. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. May Allah bless you. May Allah give you Amen. 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 It's not only brother was in responsibility. I pray sincerely for this brother. Alhamdulillah, the amount of work he's done in the last two or three weeks, ever since the brothers come to gathering of hope, brother was seen already attending our gathering of hope, and he identified. And he, at the moment, it's only him and brother Kaleem who took him to their house and showed the hospitality. Now it's a responsibility on every single one of you. You forward any books that you have, basic literature, bring it in every week. No doubt, Ahmad Raza is not going to go nowhere, inshallah. He brings us every week to your head. Like, I don't want it to be a weekly thing. Inshallah, I openly announce in, on this platform that I will give my own time to teach you myself. Inshallah. And not many people out there have that time of mind that I teach. But you, inshallah, and I say it very openly in front of the cameras, alhamdulillah, I will teach you myself. And you know why? Your name is Ahmad Raza. Allah. Allah reward you and all of you. You're a role model for this brother, inshallah. Help him and guide him. Invite him to your house now, inshallah, one by one for a dawah as well. Allah reward you. Jazakallah, all of you. Next week, same time, same place. Maybe another brother to convert. Amen. Allah bless you, inshallah. Jazakallah.